Hey guys, it's Baby Powder. I'm coming to you with another one of my amazing multi-boss gold guides where I show you how easy it is to make lots of gold with less effort and without a group. And this is going to be another one of those farms. It's kind of sort of like, you know, spider silk and stuff like that. It's one of those materials that you don't always necessarily need and you don't, you know, sell a whole bunch. But it is a nice material to also have up on the auction house and it's got some really good value. So let's go ahead and get into it and see how it's done. All right, guys. So for this farm, we are located out here in the Eastern Plaguelands and we are located right here, kind of like in the center of the map, right here where Corrin's Crossing is and right below Light Shield Tower. Now, the way this farm works, you want to have your main kind of in the center of the area and you want to have them going, as you see, I have the marker uh, X and Skull right here. Uh, and you want to kill all these mobs in this little area here. There's one over there too. Uh, and what you're trying to kill is these dark summoners. Like, yeah, there's one right there. But sometimes the dark summoner won't spawn there. Sometimes it'll be a different type mob. Uh, so the macro that we use is just that basic macro, the slash target enemy macro right here. And you got to make sure the words target and enemy are together and then slash cast your spell. And then you just want to run back as soon as you go to Skull, which Skull, you just want to kill the one mob here inside that building there. And then the one inside this little house here. And then you run back to where X is. And you just want to kill everything around here. So the one down here. And then the one over there beside that building. And then you run back up, you kill that one mob there. And then just make your way back to the Skull. As you see, the mobs are already back up. And just make sure you kill the one inside there. And just right back and that's all you do for like a minute 45 seconds two minutes where you decide to do i was doing a minute 45 myself and then you want to go to where the potatoes are and everywhere else and loot you know everything and make sure that you're using looter rings on your potatoes so that they're looting as well the only thing i didn't do was go inside the buildings and actually kill the mobs uh where my potatoes are located inside the buildings as you see with the small screens here i have you know two inside well i have one inside this big building here and one inside this one right here beside me now uh, and the reason why I didn't do that is just, you know, it's just takes up too much time. Uh, plus with this one right here, that kind of looks like a church when I would actually loot this mob outside here, it seemed like I looted everything inside this building anyway. So I'm only really missing the items that are dropping off the mobs in here. Um, but I'll go ahead and show you where all the potatoes are set up. We have the one inside this building and they're actually set up to where their camera is facing. Uh, this doorway here killing this mob and that mob there and you know that's the one thing they're actually using the slash target enemy macro as well uh but as long as like i figured out with my 10 hour farm of the golden pearls uh, you know as long as they are actually in your camera view the target slash target enemy macro will still target the mob and kill them so uh, you don't actually have to make sure that your potato is facing a certain way as you actually see here this potato in this little screen right here, if you can see where my pointer is, is actually kill these mobs behind them. They're facing backwards, but their camera is facing that way. So they actually did still target them and kill them. Uh, and then, you know, you have the one here where triangle is killing the mobs uh, that's right outside this house and inside that house. And then you have the one over here killing this mob over here. Now you might be saying, why did I put one right here where triangle is? Because I already run around here. Well, it did. It seemed like it was kind of aggravating to try to actually target that mob inside that house with the way I was running the route. So I found it to be a lot easier to actually still just put one right there uh, instead of putting one down here. Now, if you are able to actually convince somebody else to come out here with you, I would suggest putting another active person here where Skull is to make this a little bit more efficient for you. Um, but anyway, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the very last potato, which is inside this big building and they're right here standing on top of this banister as you see, see they're actually facing backwards but they do have their camera angled so that they can actually target this mob here and then there's one that actually spawns over here as well uh so you want to make sure that you have your camera facing that way so they can target both of those um and that's basically it guys you know you just you know do your route uh make sure that your potatoes have their cameras angled correctly so that they're able to target each one of the dark summoners uh, and go around and loot and what we're actually looking for with this farm is this item right here the dark room as you see there's not a none up on my auction house right now so it's not like some people really farm this a whole lot uh, so it's got a market value of about 1500 gold and a region value of 
almost 1500 gold now it's probably not going to sell as fast as like say like volatiles or primals but people are going to need those items when they want to actually craft those certain items that actually you know um they do sell so people are going to still you know if you're the only one with those items up on the auction house you may be able to even put it up for higher than that 1500 gold and people will actually buy it uh so really it's not a bad material to still have in like your back pocket and have it up on the auction house for those days that it does actually sell uh because 1500 uh, 1500 gold a piece that is a lot especially seeing as my main got 138 by their self um but anyway guys let's go ahead and get everybody grouped up uh, get everything organized and see exactly what I got for doing this for one hour. All right, guys. So now that we have everybody together here, we've got everything organized and all the trash cleaned out. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. So first up is my main tomb, uh, as they're on a different realm and everything. Anyway, uh, we have 138 of the dark rooms alone, and like I said, there's none up on my auction house right now, so I can't actually see the buyout value. Uh, but they do have a market value of almost 1,500 gold, uh, which is about the same as the region value. And for this stack alone, it is 205,760 gold uh, market value and about almost 200,000 gold uh, region value. So I would suggest possibly posting these in smaller stacks, um, like sort of like wild vine. I actually only post my wild vine in like stacks of 10 and five uh, and where I would suggest possibly doing the same with these just because they are such a higher value, you know, um, material and they're probably not going to sell as fast as some of like primals and volatiles where people will buy you know bigger stacks like that uh we also got some of the essence of undeath as it's actually selling on my realm for about 190 gold which is actually pretty good for that and it's got a region value of about 47 gold uh so five pieces of that so not much but it is some extra value in another material that can kind of sell pretty well um and then we just got some low value transmog pieces no high value pieces or anything like that so uh, let's go ahead and pull up our chat box and see what our main made alone. And it's 233,427 gold in value, which is kind of odd because, I mean, it says, well, I guess, yeah, 205. Okay, so we only made like 30,000 gold on top of the dark rooms. So most of that's just the dark rooms. Um, but we'll go ahead and switch over to our tune that's holding all the loot from our potatoes, see what they got, and add everything together. All right, guys, so now that we're on our tune that's, you know, holding all the loot from all the potatoes, this is what they added to the farm. Uh, so total, they got 168 of the dark rooms, uh, which they actually do have some up on the auction house. Um, they, it's about six auctions, it says. Uh, but it does it is on a buyout of over 1,100 gold and, you know, region of value is still, of course, the same. So that actually puts their stack at selling at 192,000 gold. Uh, then we got nine of the Essence of Undeath. Uh, and then again, just low value train small pieces. They're still good pieces. They're just not really worth going over. I mean, they're you know either below like 5K or like right around 5K. So nothing extraordinary or anything like that. But let's go ahead and bring up the chat box and see exactly what they made. And then we'll add everything together. And again, 208,314 gold as their market value is a little bit lower so even though they got more dark runes it's, it's not going to add up to as much uh by just a little bit um as you see the market value is only 177,000 gold for them uh so let's go ahead and add all those together and that gives us a grand total of 441,741 gold in value for the hour and majority of that is the material that we're farming so really not bad like i said it will probably still sell slower and you probably need to sell it in smaller stacks but once you do this farm like for one hour you're good for you know a month maybe two months you know uh, before you need to actually come out and do it again uh but anyway guys uh that's pretty much it you know some other farms that you might want to check out which i'll leave up at the top of the screen they're kind of like this you know just some materials you kind of want to have in your back pocket when you're you know pretty good on volatiles and primals are stuff like you know uh the spire silk farm that i did which i'll leave a link up at the top of the screen for that one uh and you know also possibly the golden pearls farm uh which actually i did a 10 hour farm of that one so i'll uh i'll leave a 10, the 10 hour farm link up at the top of the screen go check that one out and there is a link to the original one uh that you can check out from that 10 hour farm uh but anyway guys 
all right guys so to conclude the video on the dark runes uh really not bad at all i mean like 400 over 400 000 gold uh in value you know in a material you know it yeah it might still be one of those materials that kind of sells slower than transmog i mean sl sell slower than like volatiles and primals but it might still sell faster than transmog does uh but then again there might be times where people have actually bought the stuff from you and it might not sell for a little while um but it is still good to have those materials up uh just you know so when somebody does buy it you know it does really boost your sales up in the material area anyway uh but anyway guys uh if you liked the video go ahead and make sure you hit that thumbs up down below also hit that subscribe button so you make sure you don't miss another one of my amazing multi-box gold guides and if there is a farm you'd like for me to try to multi-box and post a video go ahead and leave a comment down below i'll check it out see if it works and if it works i'll post a video and uh also don't forget to check me out on the stream i am streaming on twitch and you know this sunday i will be giving away another wow token on stream so we do that every uh other sunday so uh, don't forget to check that out and there's links to discord and uh facebook and twitter as well if you'd like to come check me out on there uh but anyway guys uh that's about all i have this is baby powder peace i'm out